we're ending October here soon. What? Halloween's next week or whenever this video goes out. I would love for you guys to let me know if you did Sober October and how it went and if any of you would love to come on and share your experience that would be absolutely fabulous but anyways today I wanted to talk about something that I talked to my counselor about and she brought up a really good point she said that maybe people think that you look down on them now because I moved and I lost friends and I quit drinking and dynamics changed but here's the funny thing I did it for myself I did it for my family I didn't do it to be better than anybody how many of you actually feel that <laughs> like it's absolutely amazing how people will take your goodness and turn it into a selfish act on their side because we live in a blaming society not everybody is going to be okay with what you do and they're not going to understand it but Rule number one, you have to do what's best for you. Rule number two, if you've tried with people and they still don't understand, then the ball is in their court. There's nothing that we can do to change people's minds. We have to only focus on ourselves and what's best for our family. Nobody else is going to make your life better. I mean, do you think that you being poor and somebody's just gonna randomly give you a million dollars and it's gonna make your life better? No, it's actually not. Like, it's the process of getting there that makes it all worthwhile. So many times, so many of us just give up and don't want any better for ourselves. Just because somebody doesn't want better for themselves doesn't mean that you have to lower your standards to please them. You can try and try and try and maybe not succeed. You can tell a drunk that they should quit drinking and they're not going to quit drinking. They're going to blame society they're gonna blame you everything is just it's the blame game constantly and we can constantly blame alcohol for all of our problems but that's something that you need to work on because blaming your past blaming your current situation blaming the bottle is so easy and we have to take accountability for our own actions because how long can you blame everything but yourself? How, like, I can blame people for making me feel the way I feel, but at the same time, it's really how I react to the situations. I have to be the bigger person and I have to accept what is and what isn't, even though that's a hard one, but it's just how life is. Like, I have to accept that everything around me is still always going to be revolved around alcohol. I have to realize that people are going to want to stay stagnant and not do better for themselves. And I also have to realize that not everybody wants not everybody wants the same thing that you do. Just because you want to be sober or fit or healthy or rich, it doesn't mean that everybody else wants to. But I would like to encourage people to want better for themselves. And that's why I do what I do. I take how I feel and I put it in a video 
and I resonate with thousands of you. And I have helped so many people change their life and their habits and get healthier. Some people just can't accept it. Some people won't admit that I've helped, but I don't sit here and say that I am so much better than everybody because I'm a certain way now. Trust me, I have so many things that I still have to work on as a human. I have zero patience. I'm still working on that. I need to work on loving myself. I need to work on confidence. I need to work on kindness. But if I didn't stop drinking, I wouldn't have realized all these things that I needed to work on. And I would still just be blaming everybody around me for the situations that I've been in. And it's easy to play the blame game over and over and over in life. And it's not gonna get you anywhere. So if you watch my videos and I've offended you somehow, or you don't like what I say, then obviously it's because you don't like yourself. We have to learn to stop blaming others for how we feel and look in the mirror and realize that, well, what can I do better? What did I do and how can I control the situation or react differently? We all have our own issues. We do. And I hate to break it to you, but just because you get easily offended doesn't mean that that person necessarily did something wrong. I get offended and I will react to certain comments sometimes and I shouldn't give those type of people my energy, but I do and that's on me and that's what I have to work on. But life goes on. People are gonna love you, people are gonna hate you. People aren't going to agree with you, but we can all agree to disagree and not blame everybody for she did that, he did this, nonsense. Sorry, it's so windy outside and crisp. Somewhere inside of you, you have to find the strength to want better for yourself and to quit blaming everything around you. Life does go on, people grow apart, you grow apart from how you grew up, you change yourself when you start really looking in, and alcohol is the number one thing that holds so many of us back. I would not be here. I wouldn't be even 10 steps ahead of where I was in 2022 if I didn't stop drinking in 23. I'm just saying like, alcohol is such a downer and we just want to keep blaming how we grew up because we, we drank too much or our parents treated us bad or a friend treated us bad or relationship went wrong or job went south. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> Ever think about that one? Blaming yourself and figuring out how to fix whatever you absolutely hate in your life is the only thing you can do. You can't blame Jane Doe, you can't blame John Doe, you can't blame Jimmy, John, or Jack, Jose. You have to take accountability for your own behavior, for your own insecurities, and fix it. Listen to, listen to positivity, listen to positive podcasts, listen to read positive books, watch positive people. Don't fall into the trap of negativity and life will get better. And all I'm trying to say is stop blaming everybody else for how you feel and take accountability for your own behavior and your own actions and think of why you're in the situation you're in and try to 
fix it the best you can. It's not going to happen overnight, but I promise it will happen eventually. Maybe not in three days, maybe not in three months, but it will happen. And you will eventually start feeling better. I can promise you that because I am almost 16 months sober and my life has completely changed so much. I've gotten to the part where, yeah, I still blame certain things for certain behaviors and feelings, but now I'm trying to figure it out. I think that's all we're gonna do in life is just keep trying to figure it out. It takes courage to be kind and nice and give compassion and compassion is key to feeling better overall. If I can do it, you can do it. You just have to look in the mirror and ask yourself what you really want and stop blaming everything around you and everybody around you and actually do the damn work.